Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena, and I'm bringing you today's word for July 3rd, 2014. Today, we're going to close out this series, this mini series we've been in for about the past month or so, entitled Growing in Grace. I know that it's been a blessing to me. I trust that it has been a blessing to you as well. So let's close out the series. I'm calling this, this message, Grow in Grace, the Benediction. I'm going to give you the benediction for this message or this series with Peter's benediction for his second letter. So, uh, and the reason I'm closing this out today and not tomorrow is that uh, tomorrow, while it is Friday, it's also Independence Day. So I'm not going to share a message uh, tomorrow. So today is the last message for this week and also for this series. Let's get into it. The Apostle Peter says, or he closes out his second letter by, uh, uh, by saying this, Dear friends, you already know this, so be careful. Don't let these evil people lead you away by the wrong that they do. Be careful that you do not fall from your strong faith but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Glory be to him now and forever. Amen. What does this mean to you today as we close out this series? We've been growing in grace. What does this mean to you today? I'm going to give you three things. The enemy will attempt to draw you away from God. The Apostle Peter, in, in that third chapter, 2 Peter, he gives us many warnings about all these things that would happen in the last days. And let me tell you that we are in the last days. And the enemy will do everything he can to draw you away from God. Just like we have a real God, well, guess what? We have a real enemy. Satan is not going to just idly sit by and watch as you maximize your purpose and potential. Satan will do everything that he can to derail you from your destiny. That's why Paul told us to be careful. The apostle warned us that people will attempt to lead us away from God, which is why he urged us to grow in grace by growing in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Number two, you got to maintain your strong faith. The Apostle Peter said, be careful that you do not fall from your strong faith. Another translation says, be on guard so that you're not carried away by the errors of these wicked people or lose your own secure footing. If you have strong faith this morning, let me say it this way. If you he, here, one translation talked about strong faith. Another translation talked about secure footing. So if you have strong faith this morning, that's good. If you have secure footing, you know, that's awesome. I appreciate all that. But listen, that doesn't mean that it can't change. You could be strong today and weak tomorrow. So you got to be very careful. You have to maintain your faith. You have to actively pursue God's best for your life. And you have to do it on a daily basis. Just because you're doing good today doesn't mean that you can't slip. So you cannot re relax the grip that you have on your faith. You cannot give up. You cannot lose your focus. You got to stay focused every day of your life. If you lose your focus, you can find yourself slipping. And if you're not careful, you can slip so far that it can cost you dearly. It's happened to me. I, I've seen it happen to others. You need to stay focused so that you could be the man, the woman that God has called and destined and designed and desires for you to be. Number three and finally, growing grace by growing in the knowledge of God. That's what this series has been all about. He closed out the message by saying, or the letter, but growing grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. See, the more you know about God and his grace, the grace that he already provided you, then the more you can access it. See, it's by faith, by our faith, that we access his grace. So the more we know about him, then the more we can access of him. The more, the more we know about him and his character, attributes, and nature, and the more that we know about his divine plan for our lives, and he reveals it to us, then the more grace we can access with our faith. And that's the goal. God blesses us with his unearned grace, and we're supposed to access that grace with our faith. So let's close this out with a confession of faith as we close out the, this message in this series. Say, Father, I thank you for taking the time to teach me your word. Over the last few weeks, I have grown in grace by growing in the knowledge of you. The, no, the more I know about you, your character, attributes, and nature, and the more I know about my divine assignment, which you gave me before the world began, the more I can access the grace for my assignment with the faith you gave me. You bless me by your unearned grace. You expect me to access your grace with my faith. But even then, I cannot boast or take credit. I would not even have faith if you didn't give it to me. You made plans for me before the world began. And you made those plans by your grace. You saved me by grace when I was a sinner. You use me now by grace as I seek to live a life 
that is pleasing in your sight. And you freely give me all things by grace. As you expect me to access them with my faith. But even then, Father, I know that my faith came from you. You dealt me the measure of faith. So, Father, I enter this day and the rest of my life determined to live by faith, to stay focused, and to make the most of the life you gave me. With my faith, I access your grace, and I get to live the life that you planned for me to have. I declare this by faith. In Jesus' name, amen. This is today's word, apply it and prosper. You have a blessed day and a blessed weekend. God bless you. Happy 4th of July.